Well, welcome back. In my previous video, I was talking about the Starpath Radar Quiz 0603 uh, and talking about relative motion diagram problems. Uh, I gave an example of a target uh, B, a target C, and a target D, and we figured out, oops, I didn't quite draw that one right. There we go. We figured out which one was the collision threat. And we figured out uh, on target B, we computed the direction of relative motion was about 1 to 0. The speed of relative motion of target B was 15 knots. The uh, closest point of approach that we computed was going to be about 3.2 nautical miles. And the plot clock at the time of closest point of approach was going to read 15 minutes. And the way we calculated that is time, time now is here, but six minutes ago, these are six minute plots, six minutes ago, uh, target B was here, and in six minutes, it had progressed down to here. So it, six minutes had already gone by in order for this picture to appear as it is. And then we calculated that it would be uh, to closest point of approach at a line perpendicular here, but right here would be another nine minutes. So the six minutes plus the nine makes, means that target B would have been a closest point of approach at uh, 15 minutes on the plot clock. Okay, so these, these were the first section of some uh, relative motion diagram problems. The other remaining half of those problems, the, they're not half in quantity, but half in concept. Uh, is to compute from the basis of a six-minute track that we, six-minute slug trail across our screen, uh, is to compute what the actual speed, that is the true speed of target vessel B as viewed on their knot meter, and the actual course of target B as viewed at their helm, what those would be, true course and true speed of this target B, and uh, we also want to figure out what the aspect is. What, when we look from our cockpit over at target B at this location, are we going to be looking at their port side, at their starboard side? Are we going to look at, be looking at their stern? What lights would we see uh, if it were dark? So those are the two things that we have to uh, calculate, the three things that we have to calculate. Now, the thing that we have to realize on a radar screen is that it, that we have four vessels here. We have B, C, and D, of course, we have four targets that are moving, but we also have another vessel that's moving and that's ourselves and we're right in the center of this display. Now, because we are viewing the world from our cockpit of our boat right here, everything that we see on the screen is relative to us and that means not only the bearing from our for example, from us to here, our bearing, hes let's say he's straight west of us at the moment, the bearing up here and the bearing up here relative to us, but also the speed of everything that's happening on the screen is relative to us. For example, let's say that there was a buoy right in this location. Now, that buoy is not moving, but because we're moving, the relative speed of that buoy across our screen, across our radar screen, will be a function of our speed. And our speed, according to the problem, is seven knots. So we're using six minute monitoring, six minute analysis time, uh, time periods to, to look at these and study these targets. How many six minute intervals are there in one hour? The answer is 10. So in six minutes, target B will move from here to here. Why we choose 10 is because the math is so easy. All we have to do in our calculations is move a decimal point one way, uh, well, sorry, uh, one position one way or the other. Uh, here, we're back to our buoy. Now, because we're moving at seven knots, how far will this, t if we had a trail on this buoy, how long would that buoy trail B in six minutes. <coughs> Excuse me. And the answer is it'll be one-tenth 
because six minutes is one-tenth of an hour, it'll be one-tenth of our speed per hour, or knots per hour, what we call knots. So we're doing seven knots, therefore the trail of this buoy will be 0.7 nautical miles. So the question is how far uh, will, if we have a trail on this buoy at this point, and we're proceeding at seven knots, how long in six minutes will the trail of this buoy be? And the buoy's going to go right down our port side here, this we're still in heading up mode, um, and that buoy is going to go right down our port side. And the answer is, if we're doing seven knots, we want, because six minutes is one-tenth of a nautical mile per hour, we want one-tenth of seven knots, so it's the length of this trail will be 0 0.7 nautical miles. It, six minute observation time, analysis time of, of a target is slam dunk easy math and that's why we choose it. You don't need a calculator to figure this out. Now, so a buoy is going to run, is going to be on a trail of six minutes, going to be 0.7 miles long. We call that our buoy trail. That's radar that's radar terminology for a line on the screen that represents our speed and direction. We call it a buoy trail. And we're going to use that buoy trail in a way that there may not even be a buoy there. But we can always say a, seven, a 0.7 nautical mile long line on our radar screen represents our motion. So. We're going to analyze the direction of uh, target B and come up with their true course and true speed. So, what we will do is, well, first we realize that the motion that we see across our radar screen is the motion of both vessels. Uh, vessel B is in motion, and we are in motion, and so consequently the slug trail that we see across our radar screen is the algebraic sum of both vessels motion. Now I can't emphasize this enough. The motion that we see here of this slug trail of, of any target that's moving on our radar screen is the function of, the result of, the target's motion, clearly, and the result of our radar being in motion, that is, we're being in motion. So this slug trail, indeed this one, and indeed this one, is a result of both targets' motion. The result of the buoy is the result of our motion because that buoy is anchored, and it isn't going anywhere. It's not moving at all, but it, the, the buoy trail we see here is a function of our motion. Back out. So, recognizing that the slug trail that we see across here is a function of both vessels' motion, and knowing what our contribution to that slug trail is, that is 0.7 nautical miles over a six-minute period in, uh, related to the direction we're going, we are going to impute a buoy trail. We are going to Take a, we're going to draw in a line that represents our contribution, 0.7 nautical miles. 0.7, it'll be parallel to our uh, heading line. It'll be 0.7 miles long, that is one-tenth of seven knots. Six minutes worth of seven knots. And then we're going to take a straight edge, and we're going to close this triangle. Okay, what we've done is we're backing out our contribution to this joint effort. Vessel B plus us gives you this line. We are backing out our contribution, which leaves Vessel B's contribution, and lo and behold, that is, the length of this line and the direction of this line is Target B's, Vessel B's actual course and speed proportionately over six minutes. Now, course and speed, let's figure out what that is. So, we have here, this is their, this is, we mark their line right here, let's get their course first, and we come up to the center of our radar screen so that we have a 360 degree compass, and we mark it right over here, and lo and behold, that looks to me like 
uh, maybe 0, 096. By the way, I have no idea if it matches the quiz question or not. I'm just talking about showing you the concepts on how to solve this. So, so that we know, we know that the actual course of this vessel is over here, 0, 096. And that 096 is referenced to our heading. Our heading right now is 000 relative, but it also is, according to the problem, the way the problem was set up, it's also 000 true. In other words, our vessel right here, our radar, and our boat is aimed at true north. So uh, the answer we get here is 096. That means that we'd have 096 relative. And lo and behold, because we're aimed true north, it also happens to be 096 true. The time when that would not be true is if our bow were aimed, we're heading at, oh, I don't know, 020 true. Now we have to say, we have to allow for our boat, our boat being aimed at 020, which means that the actual course of this vessel would be 09. The actual course of this vessel would be 096 plus 020 is 6, is a 116 true. The 096 is a relative, and the 020 is our true that we're adding to that, which makes the course of this vessel 116 true. Okay. Uh, let's remove this. Remove this. Here. Oops. Let's no. Let's keep this 020 true. By the way, the problem uh, in the uh, 0603 quiz. Uh, does not, uh, it, it, re it says that the actual course of our vessel is 360 or 000. So, in any event, I've made it more complicated than the actual question. All right, the next thing we need to know is what the true speed of the vessel is. In order to do that, we use our dividers. The proper nav tools make a big difference when you're doing this navigation. So, we know that in six minutes, this vessel, their contribution, our vessel was 0.7 nautical miles. But their contribution looks to be about, oh, I don't know, let's down here at the bottom of, of, the, of the chart, there's a scale. Let's say their contribution is about 1.1, 1.1 uh, nautical miles in six minutes. So. 1.1 nautical miles in six minutes, and we have to convert that to knots, so we move the decimal point one place, therefore they're doing 11 knots, and that 11 knots is, as viewed on their knot meter, at their helm. This is like magic, folks. It is amazing. We can look at their course as they're looking at it in their, in their cockpit, 116 true, and their knot meter 11 knots. Okay, so the next thing we have to know, the next thing we have to figure out, let me get some stuff out of here, uh, is what is the aspect? What lights would we be seeing? And uh, the best way to do that is, let's, let's just extend this line a little bit here. Just extend it right here. And the best way to do that, what I do, is I just simply draw in a vessel right here. And then we can see how we would view that from our cockpit. And that is not quite, not quite dead on the bow. If it were, we'd see a green-red. It's a little bit more to the red side, so the answer to that, the way that I have drawn it, is red. So we would see a red light at night uh, at this particular way that I've drawn this problem. Now whether that matches, whether that matches the quiz or not, I have no idea. Uh, I, I'm not drawing it per scale on the quiz. 
So this is how we do it. We calculate 116. And just for fun, uh, let's, do, let's do another one here. Um, let's do this guy, C. So again, what we would do is we take a line 0.7 nautical miles long and we would draw it down from the very beginning, that, that is the very first blip that we started our six minute observation. We draw it down here, draw it down here, down here. Then we would close the triangle right here. And then we have to calculate, go to the center of the, of the compass rose and figure out what that is. So this vessel right here, C, would be, uh, let's say, what did we say this one was, 096. This one, I don't know, it's like about 115. Uh, uh, so this one is 115 on vessel C. And this, the actual knot meter speed of 115 uh, would be, uh, looks to me like maybe all oh, like about 0.8. So I would say uh, he's doing 8 knots on a, on a course of 115. And our aspect, what we would see here, when we draw in his little boat right here, when we observe that from our cockpit, what we would see is clearly a green light what we'd see is clearly a green light, his green light here. And for those of you who don't understand nav lights, um, they shine on this, basically this, where this arc here is 112.5 degrees, and that's red. 112.5 degrees from here to here, and that's green. And then the remaining arc right here is white. So there we go. And that's how we do it. Calculating the speed, calculating the course of the other vessel as viewed, as viewed from their cockpit, and then also figuring out the aspect and the color of lights we would see at night. And that's it.